Good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening, good evening. How y'all doing this evening? Woo! Raise that cheer. Keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it high. You know what I'm talking about? Woo, Lord. What you want me to say? What you want me to say? What you want me to say? What you want me to tell the people this evening? Lord. It's a uh, blessing and an honor for me to be able to speak how I speak to you. You know what I'm saying? Blessing and an honor. Keep speaking through me, Lord. Keep on speaking through me. Because you are helping somebody. I'm not a selfish person. So... You are helping somebody by speaking through me. Having me speak truths. Woo. Oh, Ezekiel again. Says Ezekiel twelve. Uh, look like we're in eleven. Equal 14 and we show enough in 14. You know what I mean? Y'all already know the routine. You like running that joint? Lord, we rejoice in your word. Ooh, 18, 19, 18. We're going to say 17, 18, 19. Don't come out. And then, uh, yeah, like a solid foe, Lord. So, so, therefore say, thus said the Lord God, I will even gather you from the people and assemble you out of the countries where ye have been scattered. And I will give you the land of Israel. Woo! Lord, that was powerful in itself. I'm telling you. Biblical, baby. Biblical. Lord Jesus. It says, And they shall come thinner, and they shall take away all the detestable things thereof and all the abominations thereof from thence you know who the Lord say he will redeem us you know what I'm saying he will gather us from a scattered place and put us where we need to be and take away Abominations. Woo. You know, that's somebody. Oh, Lord, oh, Lord, that's somebody. Dad. You know, I'm going to break it down to you like this. You know, I try to break it to you in the simplest terms. That's somebody that judges a book by its cover. You know what I'm saying? And you could have multiple people doing this to you at once. And when the Lord say, be still. He's fighting for you. He's going to vindicate you. Lord. Because you know, some people lie just to see if the lie stick, if the lie tears another person down, if a lie can be used as a weapon to hurt somebody in all kind of ways. You know, to steer people from you, to steer people towards you, all kind of manipulative tactics. You know, the devil uses people to do that, to, to, to take away your focus on the glory of God and being upright in his, in his eyes. 
you know, because somebody can irritate you to where they take you out of focus and out of alignment with the Lord, then they have one up you. You know what I'm talking about? And then they don't they don't really this this passage right here, these passages right here, they don't really understand that God will gather you from the people. And assemble you out of the places that they tried to scatter you. Lord Jesus says, And I will give them one heart, and I will put a new spirit within you, and I will take the stone in heart out of thy flesh you take that heart and heart out your flesh you know what I'm talking about and will give them a heart of flesh a loving heart a heart that pumps the blood of the Lord Jesus a living heart for the living God Woo! Say what he say, what he say, what he say. He said, Therefore, speak unto them and say unto them, Thus said the Lord God, every man of the house of Israel setteth up his idols. This is confirmation to do. Says in his heart and put of the stumbling block of his inquinities before his face. See, they idolize different things, and then when it comes to God trying to pour into them, they didn't put up a blockage because they didn't have faith, they didn't believe. They didn't want to be in his ways. They took it upon themselves for judgment, for having bad character, for being mean, being vindictive. They took it upon themselves. That goes back to what I said, never judge a book by its cover. And I... I I say that about my baby too, you know what I'm saying? Don't don't you know what I'm saying? Don't judge her. A clean heart is a clean heart. A pure spirit is a pure spirit. You know what I'm talking about? Ooh. And come up to the prophet I the Lord will answer him that cometh according to the multitude of his idol so you know the prophets they supposed to idolize God they ain't not supposed to idolize their own selfish wants and needs they supposed to be wanting to be in his ways You know, Ooh, we running that joint. It said that I may take the house of Israel in their own heart because they are all estranged from me there through their idols. Ain't that what I just got through saying? Said some of them take it upon themselves, Lord Jesus. And they call that a, a, a false witness. That that's one one that they call a false witness. They have some real ones, some true ones, some good ones. You know what I'm saying? You have to 
go to the Lord and ask for trust and guidance in the situation. Yeah, we're running it. Therefore say unto the house of Israel, Thus said the Lord God, Repent and turn yourselves from your idols and turn away your faces from all your abominations. So that's, you know, that's him asking for, that's him asking for you to be forgiven. When he say repent, he asking for you to be forgiven. And he wants you not to turn back to what you've done. You know what I'm talking about? Listen, I brush it down as simple as possible. I show you what I'm looking at so you can look back over it and get your own understanding of it. You know, I do this for y'all, but I also do this for me because, like I said, I see myself in these scriptures. And I pray and hope that you do too. So that you will have a better understanding, like the understanding that I have of it. You know, I I don't want to be the one that, that try to look at somebody else and put their life in the scripture. I want you to do that for yourself because everybody's life is not the same. You know, that's just like saying if this person right here is bad and they standing next to this person right there, they bad too. No, that's judging a book by its cover. You know what I'm talking about? Did you did you get me? Am I speaking some truth to you? The Lord will set things straight, no matter the situation. You probably sitting around wondering, when is he gonna do this for me? Because I'm going through so much. I'm going through this. I'm going through that. You know, I can't tell you. If I could tell you, I'd tell you the lottery number tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? So you hit that joint. Man, everybody have been to hit that joint. You know what I'm talking about? But, you know, he he lets me see things, and hear things, and feel things. I say, I still feel my baby strong. You know, they try to manipulate, tell them, oh, no, stop, just stop thinking about it, you know. Why? When they love each other, you know what I'm saying? Why? You just don't want to see nobody else happy if you can't have that same happiness and joy. That, that's wrong. It's just wrong, man. Why well, I don't understand why people be that bitter. See, that same happiness and joy that two people want with each other and for each other can rub off on you if you stay out the way. And you can feel it too. This is authentic or nothing. And I'm going to holler at y'all later on because I think I got like an hour before I can't eat again. <laughs>